My name is Dennis California, welcome to how to troubleshoot an unresponsive QNAP device. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 15 minutes. This video is the best view for a level 2 or level 3 engineer. So, let's start. The device I'm working on in this video is a QNAP DS212P. And as you can see, the power is on, the network is blinking, disks are fine, and the QNAP device is booting. The problem with this device is that after 5 minutes the QNAP is rebooting itself. And as you can see, the QFinder Pro is unable to discover the device. Just remember that the QNAP QFinder is unable to route between different networks. In my case, I was also unable to ping the device. So what I'm going to do is to follow the QNAP troubleshooter when a NAS device cannot power on properly. So the first step proposed by QNAP is to remove all the hard drive inside the device and power on the NAS again. Just remember to use an anti-static strap before to remove the disk. And now I'm going to turn on the device with the unplugged disks. And after one minute, and as you can see the status is now only green with unplugged disks. So, as per the troubleshooter, we should hear a short beep with 20 seconds and then a longer beep after about 2 or 3 minutes. And this is our case. And when you hear the long beep, it means that the NAS device can boot up correctly without the disks installed. And as you can see, I'm also able to discover the device in the local network like a brand new installation. And following the troubleshooter, the problem could be on a drive failure, on a port failure, or on a firmware configuration files on the drive corruption. And if you are not sure on how to troubleshoot your case, QNAP request to submit a ticket to their support. As you can see, in my case, the space in use was 100% creating a logical corruption of the full device. To recover the data inside the disks, I've used the free Linux recovery tool provided by RTools technology.
the original QNAP disk is now connected through an external USB docking station to this workstation. I just want to show you the partition that you can find on the QNAP disk. In this case it's disk 1. And the first step is to do a full scan. I strongly suggest to flag extra search for known file types and the save to file. And the reason is because if you want to review the content of the full scan after a few days, the software requests to do a new scan. So if you open the scan information that you saved in a few seconds, you will find the full logical structure of the contents. And as you can see, you can consider 10 hours per terabyte. And if bad blocks are found on the disk, you should consider more time. And after a full scan, you have to select the X4 partition and open the drive files. And now select the folder with all your data and proceed with the recover. And also, under the recovery, please consider to have all your electronic device protected by an interruptible power supply. And after a full successfully recover, I'm going to delete all the partitions present in each disk and start with a brand new installation of the QNAP device. For this video, I'm going to use the default password.
And we are near the end of this video, so as a limited hardware, this device will take more than two hours to resynchronize the mirror disk in RAID 1. And we are at the end of this video, so thank you very much for your time and if you want to be in touch with me, just subscribe on my channel. Bye!